morning, we have another problem solved thanks to seven problem solvers. A West Seneca man got his car back from a tire shop in worse shape than he left it. But this morning, seven problem solver Michael Schwartz shares the good news update. Last month, I introduced you to Adam DiPietro. Over the summer, he brought his SUV to Mr. Tire in West Seneca to replace an alternator. DiPietro says he was told it would take just a few hours, but it ended up being days. And he says his vehicle came back in worse shape than when he first brought it in. All my dummy lights are on. My check engine light. This other light I've never even seen before is on. I went into that Mr. Tire. The manager told me DiPietro had existing issues with his vehicle, and DiPietro was told that when he picked it up. A claim DePetro says just isn't true. I told this guy, I'm like, dude, what did you do to my van? All the lights are on. It's overheating. It's worse now than it was before I brought it in here. You know what he told me? It was like that when you brought it in. Get out of my store. Me and my wife made these in like 20 minutes. He was so upset, he hired someone to hold these signs up across from Mr. Tire to boycott business there. DePetro says he brought in the SUV to another shop, which noted that the SUV had broken bolts and valves, including an oil control valve that, quote, someone tried to solder together, failed. I contacted Monroe, the company that owns Mr. Tire. A representative told me DePetro should send in receipts from repairs, but that there's no guarantee they'll cover the new cost of $1,555.34. So that's exactly what DePetro did, and then he waited a few weeks. DePetro recently texted me saying he got every penny of his money back. Here's that check from a few weeks ago, $1,555.34. I was uh, very surprised that they gave me every last penny. I thought I'd have to wait, fight, or whatever. They didnn't give me any feedback or nothing. I was just pretty heady, hassle-free. I was surprised. For seven problem solvers, I'm Michael Schwartz.